This is a once in a generation time for physics. This doesn't happen every day. I mean, you have to keep reminding yourself of that when your code is crashing or uh, you've been given a particularly difficult grilling in, a, in an approval meeting. You have to keep kicking yourself. We are really extremely privileged to be working here at the time that we are. Now we are in the exciting moment that whatever the Higgs boson mass is, it is trapped. We will find it. If you do not find it, if you find no evidence of the Higgs boson, that's probably the biggest news uh, in science uh, in the early part of 21st century because that basically says that we don't know much. Everybody expects the particle to be there. If the particle doesn't show up, the most solid scientific theory that mankind came out with is gone. The worst case scenario we are facing is that by the end of next year we see the Higgs. It's very standard model like, it's what we expected it to be and uh, nothing else. As this sort of friendly rivalry between theorists and experimentalists. The theorists want to be the ones who come up with the idea that we then confirm in our experiments. We want to be the people who knock down theories and find something that none of them have thought of at all. And that's the dream. You have now people trying to game the system. These theorists who will produce a whole lot of different models that predict various things. And everybody knows that if the LHC finds something, and any, anywhere someone has predicted it, they will get a Nobel Prize the next year. So you have these people trying to just predict as many different things as they can because if one of them's right, they'll be famous. And if all of them are wrong, they'll be like everybody else. <laughs>